All right, so right now we have the Luminous Legends X event that is currently underway. And of course, the natural follow-up to that event is going to be Luminous Legends Y. Now, what's going to be interesting about this particular event is that it's going to be a two-parter with different themes in each part. And of course, I'm going to be covering all of that in today's video. There's actually quite a lot you can look forward to with this event. And there's a couple of things that I want to highlight that not a lot of other people are highlighting that I really feel like you should not miss out on. All right, so with that said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. We're about to get ourselves the Luminous Legends Y event. It's going to be happening shortly after the Luminous Legends X event ends, and there's quite a lot of things to look forward to with this particular event. It's actually going to be a two-parter with a lot to look forward to in each part. But yeah, I'm going to be covering both of those parts with what the spawns are going to be, what the new shiny is. So yeah, let's get this coverage started. First and foremost, in part one, it's going to be happening from Tuesday, May 18, 2021, all the way till Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. It's going to be happening basically just shortly after the Luminous Legends X event ends, which at the time that I'm recording this video, it's going to end in six days. And that's going to take us directly into part one of Luminous Legends why now with this event they're going to be introducing a brand new legendary and of course it's going to be the Y legendary in Pokemon X and Y and that is of course Yveltal and this is a very powerful flying and dark type Pokemon it is kind of like the alternate to Xerneas kind of like what Groudon and Kyogre were so it is a very powerful dark type Pokemon we don't know what moves it's going to have just yet but I do predict that it's going to be really powerful or it's going to be a major disappointment. In terms of stats, if it's anything comparable to Xerneas, then it's still going to be a very powerful Pokemon. But of course, as you may know, when it came to Xerneas, having the wrong moveset did hamper its effectiveness in raid battles. But it is going to be somewhat useful in the Master League. So I do think that with Yveltal, it will come down to what moves it's going to have. Now we're going to get ourselves a brand new Pokemon, and that is of course going to be Pancham, and it is a Pokemon that we were able to unlock through a global challenge with Luminous Legends X. Now the interesting thing here is that Pancham is going to be hatching from strange eggs, and those are of course those 12 kilometer eggs. Interestingly, I predicted that it would come out in the wild, but it looks like it's not going to be that case. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, considering that Pancham is a fan favorite Pokemon, and Niantic is once again encouraging us to spend money on incubators for those 12 kilometer eggs in order to get this Pokemon. I know this is going to be somewhat ill received by the community, but at this point I feel like the community is just complaining about everything. If there's really nothing to be complaining about, they're still going to find a reason to complain. And I can understand that Niantic did build up a lot of disappointment over the past couple of years, so naturally players will be on guard and they're not going to give Niantic the benefit of the doubt most of the time. It's really unfortunate. I tried to give Niantic the benefit of the doubt all the time, but if there is a reason for me to complain, if there's something I'm unhappy about, I will voice that as well. But I digress. This is, I'm going on a tangent here. So let's move on. Appearing in the wild, we're going to see an increase of dark type Pokemon to follow up with the theme of there being the Aveltal in raids. We're going to see increases in Houndoom and Carnivine and a whole bunch of other Pokemon that are going to be centered around dark type Pokemon. And if you missed certain Pokemon that were introduced in Luminous X, they're going to be in this event as well. Notably, Gumi is still going to be spawning, so that is a really cool thing. If you are not farming up Gumi candies at the moment, you definitely should be. If you catch a really good Gumi, make sure you're walking it as your buddy so that you can continuously collect those candies because Gumi is going to be a huge standout in the Go Battle League. It already is making huge splashes in the Ultra League as well as the Retro League. So yeah, Gumi is one of those Pokemon you should focus on while it is out. Now we're going to see a shakeup in 7 kilometer eggs. I'm assuming this is going to be temporary for this event. We're going to see a lot more dark Pokemon appearing in 7 kilometer eggs. There's going to be a Alolan Rattata, Alolan Meowth, 
Grimer, Puchiena, Stunky, and a whole bunch more. All these Pokemon can potentially be shiny except for Stunky. So yeah, this is actually going to be a very exciting egg pool, although it is going to draw some controversy and I do predict that a lot of players will ignore it. But regardless, if you're looking for any of these shinies, then it will be available in seven kilometer eggs. Now here is the thing with part one that I really wanted to highlight here that I think a lot of players are going to overlook. During this event, you will be able to remove frustration from your shadow Pokemon with regular charge TMs as well as elite charge TMs. So you do not want to miss out on that if you have a whole bunch of shadow Pokemon or you do not have a bunch of shadow Pokemon and you need to go out and catch some right now. Yeah, you should definitely do that because this is going to be the one event in a long time that will allow you to remove frustration with your charge TMs. If you still have a shadow Mewtwo with frustration, and you've been thinking about purifying it rather than purifying it wait till this event because you will be able to remove frustration I cannot stress how important this is you do not want to miss out on any time they do this and like I said if you don't have a whole bunch of shadow Pokemon saved up then you should go out and farm up team go rocket battles right now so that you could have a whole bunch of shadow Pokemon where you could remove frustration this is very important considering how effective shadow Pokemon are in raid battles as well as the Go Battle League, you do not want to miss out on those advantages. Some of the Pokemon that I suggest you remove frustration from is of course Mewtwo and Moltres. They are some of the most powerful legendaries as a shadow form, but only if you remove frustration. And of course, if you have any Go Battle League Pokemon like Hypno or Vileplume, these are definitely Pokemon that you should remove frustration for. They're going to be very effective in the Go Battle League. Every time they give us the capacity to to remove frustration I feel like so many players just completely miss it it goes completely over their heads so make sure you do not let that happen this time around because it looks like this is the one time we're going to be able to do this before the next season and if you know Niantic tends to do this only once or twice every PvP season so you don't want to miss out on it or else you're gonna have to wait a very long time for the next opportunity to remove frustration and of course we're going to see some event exclusive research that's going to highlight Galarian Zig Zagoon, and the reason for that is of course because this event is going to introduce shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. Now this is a shiny form that a lot of players have been widely anticipating, mainly because the final evolved form Obstagoon is one of the coolest looking shinies that are currently in the game. So you do not want to miss out on that. If you want a high IV shiny Obstagoon, then the way that I suggest you do it is by doing a whole bunch of field research tasks. And finally for part one there's going to be another global challenge and this time it's going to involve defeating Team Go Rocket Grunts and of course this will unlock some special bonuses so do not miss out on that as you're going out and doing Team Go Rocket battles you're also going to be collecting shadow Pokemon that you could remove frustration from so it's a win-win so make sure you're going out and farming as many Team Go Rocket battles as you can. All right, so with that said, let's move on to part two, which is going to be happening from Tuesday, May 25th, 2021, all the way till Tuesday, May 31st, 2021. This is going to close out the month, and I really like the fact that there's only going to be two major events this month. I don't like the fact that they've been going with like a micro event format over the past couple of months. I like the idea of them just doing two massive events over the course of the entire month with diverse spawns and a lot of cool new things. So yeah. I do like the fact that it's just going to close out the month this way. Making its debut in part two of this event is none other than the last remaining evolution that's not yet released into the game, and that is of course going to be Sylveon. If you have a 100% IV EV or an EV with any of these PvP IVs, then you could evolve it into Sylveon by earning hearts with it as your buddy. Now there is a secret way to get Sylveon without having to earn hearts, and that is of course you can name your EV Kira and that will allow you to evolve it into Sylveon. But hold on if I'm doing this until part two starts off because otherwise you will not be able to get Sylveon once you evolve it. So make sure you save up that EV that you want to evolve into Sylveon and name it Kira and evolve it once Sylveon is released. And with part two we're going to see yet another shakeup with seven kilometer eggs. We're going to see EV, Cleffa, and a whole bunch of other baby Pokemon as well as some fairy 
fairy Pokemon. And yeah, this seems like it's going to be lackluster once again. Nothing too special out of 7 kilometer eggs typically, and it just seems like this is also going to follow suit. Now it really seems like this particular part of the event is going to center around Buddy Adventure, so you can understand that I am personally really excited about it. You're going to be able to get the premium item Poffins through AR mapping tasks, so if you are working on getting best buddies with your Pokemon, you do not want to miss out on that. It's a great way to excel your friendship levels with your buddies. So yeah, stock up on as many Poffins as you can while it is an AR mapping task. And one final note before I end this video, make sure you evolve your Mega Houndoom or Mega Gyarados so that you can collect extra dark candies. It's one of the Mega Evolution bonuses that a lot of players tend to forget. If you Mega Evolve your Pokemon, you actually collect more candies when you catch certain Pokemon that share the type of your Mega Evolution. So don't forget to do that, especially during Part 1. And if you're out raiding Yveltal, your then yeah, you'll pick up extra candies as well. So yeah, don't miss out on that little bonus. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you liked this coverage of the upcoming events. I'm really excited for them. I'm really excited for the new Legendary as well as the new Shinies. It's definitely going to be pretty hype, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Luminous Legends Y? What do you think about the new Legendary? What moves do you think it will get? Did the moves actually get released And by the time I released this video and I just didn't include it? Definitely share all of that down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video don't forget that like button subscribe if it's your first time here and do consider joining me on patreon every little bit helps i am opening up my in-game friends list to my patrons so if you want to remote raid with me then do consider joining me on patreon all right that's gonna be it i'm count Jinsula. be safe have fun and i'll catch you all later